Erica, hmm? does the guy know that you're doing the show? He's a reality guy. Oh, he is? Yeah. Who? Cool. Yeah, who? I can't tell Can you. Can you whisper? Can't tell you. No. I'll tell you after the show. Okay, what, um... Sucks. Can't tell you No, that does suck. Sorry. You know, and I have been so open. I know. So have I. I told you I walked in on someone having sex. Good point. <laughs> okay, so let me just ask. So you went on one date with him. Mm-hmm. And... And he held your hand? Like, what happened? So he, did he kiss you? Yeah, did no, he? No, we haven't kissed. Oh, that, oh, sucks. that sucks. I know. So you wanted to kiss him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't kissed yet, but I want to. Oh, you should have been like, hey, listen, I'm going away. It might be for a while. Can I have a kiss? Why didn't you do that? Um, Where'd you I was meet scared. him? Where'd you meet him? Out. Out where? Just tell oh us. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't be so secretive. Uh, Matsuhisa. You didn't meet him there. Yes, I did. That's not like a bar place. It's more like a dinner place. You met with a group of friends then? Yeah. Like a party? Mm-hmm. Okay. Is that truthfully or are you making that up? <laughs> it's truthful. Okay, so you went to a birthday party and he was there? Yeah. And you, you knew he was going to be there or you were introduced to him? I was introduced to him. Okay. And he said, you said, I know you from this, and he said, I know you from this, or you said, I, you know, how did you introduce yourself? Um, yeah, it was kind of like that. Okay. And then what happened? And then we just started talking, and we hit it off, and he made me laugh. Okay. It's important. Sense of humor is important, right? Huge. Mm -hmm. Very. It's the biggest thing for me, I think. Cool. And not like weird, wacky sense of humor, like funny. Funny. Yes. Yeah. Subtle, witty. You know, like you and Boogie. Like Charismatic. Funny, mm -hmm. funny to me. Okay. And then what happened? Then nothing. We went out. We, we had some cocktails. We... Like a week later, like Dance. a day later, no, that night? That, that, oh, oh, like that weekend. Okay. And then, uh, you know, I was leaving the next week, so. Did you talk to him before you left? Um, yeah. What did you say? I said, um, I'm leaving. I'll call you when I get back. Why are people so, like, uptight about their feelings? What? Well, it sounds like you're uptight about your feelings. Why can't you have been like, listen, buddy? I had a great time with you. I'm really attracted to you. You seem really funny. Because I'm, uh, I'm because I'm very leery right now because I'm on the rebound. Oh, okay, good point. So I don't okay. want to like. That's fair. And she could be gone for three months. <laughs> That's fair. You know, so I don't want to. I don't know how I feel. You know, I know that I'm attracted to this person, and I know I like them a lot. You could like them a lot. I could like them a lot. So you don't want to like put it. But all I don't want to like. Freak them out. I don't want to freak myself out. Freak him out. Right. You know. Makes sense. So what are you going to do after the show? Call him up and say, hey, I'm back? Yeah. And then do what? Then, um, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Were you going to call him and say, I'm back, like, I'd like to go to dinner with you? I've thought, I've thought about yeah, you, I'd, or what? Yeah, I'd like to, definitely. Okay. Would you take him to dinner or no? Who, no. Josh? I'm telling you, I'm no. telling you. No. If you, if you like a guy, if you genuinely think you like him, yeah. he'll be so flattered. If you what? If I take You're like, him to look, dinner? I want to take you to dinner. Like, this is the 2006. Trust me, I'm the most. I can't do that. I I'm spend. Sorry. I buy everything. Like, I don't let. I am the most. Like, I try to be the most giving person. I try not to let Aaron raise a finger. But when you, it's those little things that make a guy really want to do that. When you put a really? little. Really? Yeah. I promise you, it I will feel, blow. I feel weird about it though. It will blow a guy's mind if you're like, look, I had a great day with you. So good, in fact. You know what? I'd like to see you again, but I'd like to be it on my terms. Let me take you out. Oh, anyway, we're even. And if you do that, and if he likes you, rap city. Then he'll like always like. Then it's not like an obligatory thing. Then it's not like he's like, well, does she like me, or does she just think I'm interesting and likes to go to dinner? And then it's like right. this girl really likes. Like, that's one of the reasons that I. There's a couple. It's the little things that are in a relationship that make a relationship. It's not the big things. It's the little things, you know. And it's like those little things that are like. Like it's also the little things that ruin a relationship. Mm -hmm. Like what? Like, what's an example? Like, I don't have a good example. It's like, you know, like if, if something bothers you, okay, like the other night you said the guy was spitting in the thing and it mm -hmm. bothered you. Like, is that a deal breaker if he's like a great father, a great provider, an honest man, like all these things? No. But it's like, a, it still bothers you years later and you brought it up in the same sentence with the cheating. So you could have been like, hey, bud. 
Here's the deal. That spitting thing totally freaks me out. Could you do that in the bathroom, never do it, or just not let me know that you do it? Right. And it's like, that was a little thing. Like, this guy might be the most amazing father of your kids ever, but, like, the little things just drives you crazy and build up and snowball. Mm -hmm. And people are afraid to say those things. So it's like, that's so you don't have to compromise. Well, what if the other person gets offended? Well, people are very sensitive. It's better to know, it's better to offend somebody than live your whole life <laughs> with this driving you crazy. Right. Like, what if you said, like, I don't like the way that you never show your feelings? That's an important thing to do. If someone doesn't show their feelings and they're unemotional, well, then that's someone you don't want to, you know, like, you better figure it out now and walk down that road now than wait two years when you're married and you're like, this dude I married doesn't show his feelings. Right. Well, hmm. you, you want two lives. And yeah, this scenario, Chanel, you know you want to. Listen, you know why I know I'm a good boyfriend? It's because I used to be a terrible boyfriend to, like... It took me, like, a long time to be a good boyfriend. Why? Because you have to learn, you know? <laughs> <laughs> are you all getting a lot of pussy? Shut up, Bobby. What did you say? What did you say? Because we're getting a lot of pussy. Are you all getting a lot of pussy? Do all right. Chicks don't really dig me like, how are you? When you were a bad boyfriend, what did you do? Just like didn't care, you know, like it was like, like, let me think. Like I was in a relationship. Okay, I always tell the story. When I was in college, one day I had this epiphany and I realized that hot girls weren't necessarily cool. And I never realized that. Like I had spent like, it's like 21 and I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, but some of us are. You, of course, you can be hot and cool, but also you might be hot and really not a cool person. <laughs> and I was like, whoa. This just hit me after, like, I was dating this girl who was, like, super hot, and she was just, like, a loser, you know? And I was, like, just annoying, like, spiteful, bitter, like, you know, angry, jealous person. And I was, like, this is not, like, a hang-up she has. This is a psycho hoe. And um, she's super hot, but she's not cool. And I was, like, bam, hit me, like, a ton of bricks. And then, um, what was my point? Like, when I was in medical school, I had a girlfriend who was awesome and cool and smart and intelligent and nice family and everything. But, like, I just didn't, you know, like, I thought that I was too cool for school, and I just never, like, I treated her, how can I quantify it? Like, treated her, like... You thought you could do better. No, it's not even that. I just didn't put forth, like, I didn't put myself out there, and I wasn't, like, emotionally there, and I wasn't, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. all that I could have been, because I wasn't ready, and I wasn't mature, and I didn't know how to do it, and I didn't have the life tools to do it. And, like, it's only now that I'm in my... 30s. Early 30s, mid-30s, that I realize, like, wow, I have the social skills to like be a really good boyfriend mm -hmm. you do i think you'd be a great boyfriend just like you? recently though like it's only been like the last year that i've been like a pretty good boyfriend like I'll, i can't i won't go into specifics but like eric and i were dating and something really bad happened mm -hmm. not like cheating or anything like that but just a, a, a family event that was really bad happened mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I said to her, and I said, listen, I don't know how to deal with this because I have no experience dealing with it, and I'm probably going to do a really poor job at this, but I do want to let you know the lines of communication are wide open because I absolutely love you and adore you, but I don't know how to deal with this. But if I could, I would, but I'm here for you. You tell me what you need. And, like, even that was, like, a big step for me because previously I would have just shut off and not been helpful at all. Right. Mm -hmm. Kind of retreated, and I was like, I don't know how to deal with it. This is not my forte. I'm not an emotional person, but I want to really be that. So you tell me how to deal with it. Do you think it's an age thing for you, or do you think it's a life experience Both. thing? Both. Both. Mm -hmm. There's a big difference between knowledge and wisdom. Thanks, Holly. Ooh, good thing you're here. <laughs> no problem. But I also think women mature faster than men. Mm -hmm. Don't you agree? Yeah. And also, I never wanted kids until I got a puppy. <laughs>